Timeshare Travis here. I'm coming to you because uh, something came to mind to me that um, someone brought to my attention. They sent me an article. I'm going to read a piece of that article, but it's just one of the scummiest things I've ever heard of. And before I get started into this nasty thing that I heard um, and, and I'm going to read to you, I just want to say that I'm proud to endorse our exit partners that we use for a long time now. I've taken many, many calls from people who are stuck in a timeshare that they couldn't get out of. And I'm so proud to have partners to come along with me in this journey to find a way to get people out of their ripoff timeshares. I was so excited to endorse people that I found that can actually get people out, and I still endorse them. So I'll get right into the story here. This just makes my blood boil. It says here, retired Christian missionaries, Frank and Betty Lusky, company convinces Arizona couple nearly 90 years to buy a 150,000 timeshare. Guess who it was? Diamond Resorts. It says here, a salesman convinced them to buy a $150,000 timeshare with an $80,000 in annual fees. So this 90 year old, it says missionary couple, and they called it their dream holiday. So it was actually a nightmare. Frank was 89, who was a music professor. It says here, it was the dumbest thing I ever did. Desperate for a way out, they agreed to exit their timeshare. They had to pay hefty fees to do it, but it's a lot less than they'd pay over the long term. It says here, try to negotiate an end to their contract. Betty, an 88-year-old former librarian, had insomnia and faint spells from the stress. She's gone to the hospital several times. The Luskies have used timeshares for years in Scotland, Florida, Alaska, and Hawaii. Then they found Diamond Resorts, who lied to them in September 2018 sales presentation and had used hardball tactics that echoed prior complaints from consumers, such as not accurately explaining all the costs. A $150,000 timeshare. And this is at 90 years old, folks. So uh, this company is just one of the worst of the worst. And I'm going to read a little bit more here, but um, 90 years old. So this company, it, they just did some really messed up things. And it, I just want to be clear, Timeshare is still a bad investment. Wyndham is getting ready to file bankruptcy. If you don't know already, they're going, they're about to head for that. And their stock is going to almost zero if you haven't been paying attention to the news. And it doesn't look like, a, like they're going to make it. So we're projecting that they'll be filing bankruptcy real, real soon. And then soon to come later on is this Westgate vacation village, just to name a few. But that still doesn't mean that time showners are off the hook because someone else could buy it and and get right back in the get in the scam game again so if you've had a timeshare experience and you you know it sucked we're here to help but first i want to want to tell you to stay away from these deceptive timeshares because here's one uh diamond resort so i brought up before and i'm just reading the facts here mike Flasky, who is the CEO of Diamond Resorts, which is one of the largest timeshare companies. He's in continually hot water and Diamond wants us to quit. They want us to quit what we're doing because we're actually getting people out and helping them. And that's why he wants us to, to just stop. Diamond has, has made hundreds of millions of dollars off of us and he's, he's, he's paid um, to, to, to just screw people essentially how i feel about it and i'm a capitalist right and i don't mind getting paid for endorsements and making money but mikey it says here never had uh helped anybody with their timeshare and that's why the attorney general found in the state of arizona that they they need to pay eight hundred thousand dollars and 650 of that eight thousand $800,000 will be used for consumer restitution. $150,000 is paid to attorney's fees. And it's part of uh, the insurance package that the attorney general made him put together called a relinquishment program, which includes diamonds to allow qualifying customers who will not only have to um, make diamond work with them, uh, but also, uh, they're under no obligation can return their timeshares to Diamond Resorts. So I want to make you aware of this. Um, so consumer complaints uh, filed here says that Diamond used deceptive 
sales practices and oral misrepresentations in order to sell their timeshare through timeshare presentations. N no lie, right? If So if you sit through a timeshare presentation, you understand what the salesmen do. And they said the timeshare salesmen specifically did this. They misrepresented annual maintenance fees. They misrepresented the resale market that doesn't exist. They, resell, they re misrepresented the uh, ability to rent their timeshare and all this stuff is all the lies under the settlement diamond agreed to make numbers of changes to its business practices and that was after eight hundred thousand dollars later so mike flasky eight hundred thousand dollars later this is what he's doing and uh so don't call out our integrity and what we're doing here because this just makes my blood boil we're getting people out of timeshares like this 90 year old uh, couple here uh 90 years old 89 and, and 90 here uh, they got stuck and suckered into a timeshare, right, in, the, in their senior years of their life. So this is why I do this stuff, folks, to help people like that. So if you're interested in getting out of your timeshare, I want to let you know that we're here to help. And there's an assessment that you can take to see if you qualify. I'll put a link below this video. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.